Hello everyone, welcome back to the How I Solved It video series of Clinical SAS Programming. In this video, we will see how to compare a table output data set after removing spaces. So let us try to understand the requirement first. So here if you see, for alignment requirement, the production or the development of the main site programmer uses different formats while creating statistics. In places where it is not mandatory for the QC programmer or validator to replicate the alignment requirement, they are allowed to remove the white spaces from the values before comparing. We will see an example of a simple and easily scalable approach using arrays on how to compare the production dataset and the validation dataset after removing the spaces. So we'll go to SAS Studio. So I have a couple of input data set which has production and develop, uh, QC data set wherein the total number of spaces in between uh, TRT1 of production and QC are not the same as this one. So this is the development data set and this is the QC data set. So we'll try to run a compare on these two data sets directly and see if it actually matches in first place. So I have run, I am running this proc compare code on the original input data set. If we see here, so it is showing us that there are mismatches in TRT1 and TRT2. So if we examine the output here, so there are the values exactly look the same, but the spacing is not matching. So in there will be cases wherein the QC programmer may not replicate the exact alignment requirement of the production programmer who is supposed to generate the RTF file or the final proc report. But QC programmer may be free to remove the spaces which the production programmer has added for alignment purposes before comparing. So we will see an approach of how to do it. So let us now create two data sets called dev01 and qc01 by removing the spaces from trt1 and trt2 columns. So I am creating a new data set called dev01 here by reading the development data set and for removing the spaces from the treatment columns. So I am defining an array called trts and defining the variables for that array as trt1 and trt2. And then within a do loop, I am iterating it for the total number of variables here in TRTS. So what does dim function do is total dim function returns the total number of variables specified here on the array statement for that array. So when I say dim of TRTS in this case, so it will be like two variables. Uh, it will This will return the value of two as I have specified two variables here. So the loop runs for two times, one and two y is equal to 1 to 2. So for the first time it uses the variable trt1 and for the second time it uses the variable trt2. So this when I what I'm doing here is when the loop is running for the first time trt1 is equal to compress of trt1. So it will become the it will remove all the spaces available in trt1. I'm using compress function to remove all the spaces from the trt1 variable and when the loop is running for the second time this will become trt of 2 which will be fetch the trt2 variable and then it will remove all the spaces from the trt2 variable and i am applying same processing here on the qc data set so this is on the development data set and on the qc data set and then as i am creating this two new temporary variable called i i am dropping that as i will not need that so let us take run these two lines of code and then see the data sets first and then we'll run the compare on these two data sets. So here if you see, so let me So here if you see, this is dev01 data set. There were some spaces in the original dev data set. All those spaces in TRT1 are now removed and similarly TRT2 are removed. So let us examine our QC01 data set. QC also had some spaces, but they were not exactly matching the one which is present in the development data set or the production data set. So we have removed spaces from both production and QC from TRT1 and TRT2 columns. So let us now try to run the compare on these two data sets. 
So now it shows that the values are exactly matching. Earlier we had mismatches in both TRT1 and TRT2. Now it is exactly matching as we have removed that spaces which the production programmer has added for alignment purposes. So this is how you can compare your production and QC data set where it is allowed for you to remove all the white spaces which is explicitly used for alignment purposes. So the uh, advantage of using this array approach is if you uh, have three or four treatments in any other study all you need to do is simply add that additional variables here so, and if you have the standard naming convention as TRT1, TRT2, 3, 4 as well so you can simply list them as TRT colon here and also TRT colon here so that you can make use of the same logic across different lines of code. If if we are not using array, what we generally do is we will manually write the assignment statement TRT1 is equal to compress of TRT1 and then we write the line of code for TRT2 and if we use that approach, we, if you want to make use of this same code in a different study or different table, so you'll have to add those many number of tables, lines of statement in both the cases. So if you are following constant pattern, you can use TRT colon or you can simply list the variables here on the array statement so that this code becomes easily scalable from one study to other study or one output to another output where the total number of treatment columns varies. Thank you for watching and keep learning.